FG chapter 10. It is called Frob Scottle and Whiz Poppers, and my tongue gets super twisted, so bear with me. By now, Sophie was beginning to feel not only extremely hungry, but very thirsty as well. She had been at, had she been at home, she would have finished her breakfast long ago. Are you sure there's nothing else to eat around here except those disgusting, smelly snozcumbers, she asked. Not even a fizzwinkle, answered the big friendly giant. In that case, may I please have a little water, she said. Water, said the BFG, frowning mightily. What is water? We drink it, Sophie said. What do you think? Frobscoddle, announced the BFG. All giants is drinking frobscoddle. Is it as nasty as your snozcumbers, Sophie asked. Nasty, cried the BFG. Never is it nasty. Frobscoddle is sweet and jumbly. He got up from his chair and went to his second huge cupboard. He opened it and took out a glass bottle that must have been six feet tall. The liquid inside it was pale green and the bottle was half full. Here is Frobscoddle, he cried, holding up the bottle proud and high, as though it contained some rare wine. Delumptuous, fizzy Frobscoddle, he shouted. He gave it a shake and the green stuff began to fizz like mad. But look, it's fizzing the wrong way, Sophie cried, and indeed it was. The bubbles, instead of traveling upwards and bursting on the surface, were shooting downwards and bursting at the bottom. A pale green frothy fizz was forming at the bottom of the bottle. What on earth is you meaning the wrong way, asked the BFG. In our fizzy drink, Sophie said, the bubbles always go up and burst at the top. Upwards is the wrong way, cried the BFG. You mustn't ever be having the bubbles going upwards. That is the most flush bunking rubbish I is ever hearing. Why do you say that? Sophie asked. You is asking me why? cried the BFG, waving the enormous bottle around as though he were conducting an orchestra. You is actually meaning to tell me you cannot see why it is a scrotty mistake to have the bubbles flying up instead of down? You said it was flush bunking. Now you say it's scrotty? Which is it? Sophie asked politely. Both, cried the BFG. It is a flush bunking and a scrotty mistake to let the bubbles go upwards. If you can't see why, you must be as quacky as a duck hound. By Ringo, your head must be so full of frog squinkers and buzzwinkles. I is frittered if I know how you can think at all. Why shouldn't the bubbles go upwards? Sophie asked. I will explain, said the BFG. But tell me first what name is you calling your frog scottle by? One is Coke, Sophie said. Another is Pepsi. There's lots of them. And the bubbles is all going up? They all go up, Sophie said. Catastrophe, cried the BFG. Up going bubbles is a catastrophe, disastrophe. Will you please tell me why, Sophie said. If you will listen carefully, I will try to explain, said the BFG. But your brain is so big a bug wiffles that I doubt you will ever understand. I'll do my best, Sophie said patiently. Very well, then. When you is drinking this cokey drink of yours, said the BFG, it is going straight down into your tummy. Is that right or is it left? It's right, Sophie said. And the bubbles is also going into your tummy, right or left? Right again, Sophie said. And the bubbles is fissing upwards? Of course, Sophie said. Which means, said the BFG, that they will all come swish whiffling up your throat and out of your mouth and make a foul some belchy burp. That's often true, Sophie said. But what's wrong with a little burp now and again? It's sort of fun. Burping is filsome, the BFG said. Us giants is never doing it. But with your drink, Sophie said. What was it you called it? Frobscoddle, said the BFG. With frobscoddle, Sophie said, the bubbles in your tummy will be going downwards, and that could have a far nastier result. Why nasty? asked the BFG, frowning. Because, Sophie said, blushing a little. If they go down instead of up, they'll be coming out somewhere else with an even louder and ruder noise. A whiz popper, cried the BFG, beaming at her. Us giants is making whiz poppers all the time. Whiz popping is a sign of happiness. It has music in our ears. You surely is not telling me that a little whiz popping is forbidden among human beings. It's considered extremely rude, Sophie said. But you is whiz popping is you not now and again, asked the BFG. Everyone is whiz popping, if that's what you call it. Kings and queens are whiz popping, presidents are whiz popping, glamorous film stars are whiz popping, little babies are whiz popping, but where I come from, it is not polite to talk about it. Redunculous, said the BFG. If everyone is making whiz poppers, then why not talk about it? We is now having a swiggle of this delicious rub scottle, and you will see the happy result. The BFG shook the bottle vigorously. The pale green stuff fizzed and bubbled. He removed the cork and took a tremendous gurgling swig. It's glummy, he cried. I love it.
For a few moments, the big friendly giant stood quite still and a look of absolute ecstasy began to spread all over his long wrinkly face. Then suddenly the heavens opened up and he let fly with a series of the loudest and rudest noises Sophie had ever heard in her life. They reverberated around the walls of the cave like thunder and the glass jars rattled on their shelves. But most astonishing of all, the force of the explosions actually lifted the enormous giant clear off his feet like a rocket. Whoopee, he cried when he came down to earth again. Now that is a whiz popping for you. Sophie burst out laughing. She couldn't help it. Have some yourself, cried the BFG, tipping the neck of the enormous bottle towards her. Don't you have a cup, Sophie said. No cups, only bottle. Sophie opened her mouth and very gently the BFG tipped the bottle forward and poured some of the fabulous frob scottle down her throat. And oh gosh, how delicious it was. It was sweet and refreshing. It tasted of vanilla and cream with just the faintest trace of raspberries on the edge of the flavor and the bubbles were wonderful sophie could actually feel them bouncing and bursting all around her her tummy it was an amazing sensation it felt as though hundreds of tiny people were dancing a jig inside her and tickling her with their toes it was lovely it's lovely she cried just wait the bfg said the bfg flapping his ears sophie could feel the bubbly bubbles traveling lower and lower down her tummy and then suddenly inevitably the explosion came the trumpet sounded and she too made the walls of the cavern ring with the sound of music and thunder bravo shouted the bfg waving the bottle you is a very good for a beginner let's have some more that's the end of chapter 10